we do a project where kids have to pick something about genetics that has impacted them. So I had, like last year, I had some kids who were taking medication for ADD, and they wanted to see if it's more environmental or genetic cause for ADD. To me, authentic learning is when students have the opportunity to take big ideas we're studying and give it meaning to themselves. I think authentic learning happens when I'm actually not in front of the classroom. They have an opportunity to put out their own opinions on things and I think it becomes more authentic when they then apply some of their critical thinking skills and they make some connections to the real world. Any time, any way you can take math out of a textbook then it's authentic. Instead of just the written word or the written number, if they can see it and observe it or experience it, it's authentic. Authentic learning means that you understand why you're doing it and how it's applicable. Authentic learning to me means that the audience is somebody more than just the teacher. So um, any kind of project where you're doing it for a bigger reason, not just for the class, for the grade. It's when they get a chance to actually lead others or to, you know, to whether it's lead a drill or captain a team or, or feel like they've got control over it. And I mean the same thing could happen in a maths class or an English class where the student feels that they, they are leading the learning situation. I like my students to be involved in independent projects where I provide them a big idea and then they get to kind of define which direction to go with that. Passion and learning I think comes from helping them to teach each other. They love to be in charge, they love to come up with the best way to introduce a topic or to teach other students, particularly those younger than them. And so they always become very passionate when they have a stake in it. Was a unit about probability. The students had to design their own game uh, in which they had to work out the probability of winning and losing and they had to make it attractive, they had to encourage people to come by figuring out um, a good probability that wouldn't scare people away. So they had to really understand the odds, you know, the chances of winning versus the chances of losing. And we ended up running a really big carnival here in the library. The entire seventh grade played each other's games. The math teachers felt we really believed that they got something out of it because their reflections were, I actually got it. I understood why my game was successful or why my game lost everything. We do this one, it's called make a baby with your partner and uh, kids talk about it a lot. They have to put the genes for their facial features in this database and then they randomly assign someone from the opposite gender. They don't know who it is and then they make a baby so they could see what their possible baby could look like someday and that's all kids talk about for a long time. I really try to put them in a position where it's project-based learning and they have to gather information and do something with that information. For me, the end all isn't memorizing facts. For me, the end all is once they have facts, what are you going to do with it? So they're always collaborating, collecting data, problem solving, looking at things critically. Being really thoughtful, critical thinkers. To be able to have an opinion on a topic that's not borrowed from somebody just because it sounds smart and that they've come up with their own conviction, a truth that belongs to them. It's probably to be flexible with any kind of understandings they take away from the classroom. So for me it's really about problem solving. What do you know, what don't you know, what do you need to you know, do first, second, third, and then go ahead and execute. When I'm working with teachers and students both are um, being a risk taker and problem solving. Go out in the world after they take my class and uh, look at it a little bit differently. Anything that they see could potentially become a, a beautiful artwork. Make an independent judgment without being influenced by propaganda, by bias, by media.